What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here. In this video, we're gonna do something that's um, exciting, but hopefully also educational. We're gonna go over the silver price chart over the last 20 years or so, and we'll talk about a few key dates when different things happened, and uh, sort of discuss where we are now with the price of silver. You know, where could it go from here? Are we uh, headed lower or higher? You know, what's the outlook uh, sort of long term? Um, now, in the world, there's a lot going on right now. In the USA, there's a lot going on right now, uh, you know, with inflation and the dollar. Um, but I think most of us agree we are already in a recession or we're going into a recession. Some people think we're going into an inflationary depression. Now, if that happens, there could be some fireworks. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. Uh, just to kick things off here, uh, we are on the SD Bullion website. They got this banner. Uh, you could win 500 Silver Eagles. Uh, that's absolutely true. I will have a link down below in the description for the giveaway. Uh, definitely go check that out. Who knows, you could win. Uh, but also, if you haven't signed up for their um it's like their early access email list, uh, which is how you enter the giveaway. Uh, then you will get an email with some really good deals. So definitely check that out. Again, link in the description. Now, let's go over this price chart here. But before we do, I just want to mention, I was uh, listening to the Peter Schiff uh, podcast. I, I think it was like a week ago. He was talking about how the Dow Jones has actually dropped 11 out of 12 weeks. Uh, which is crazy. That's a record for the Dow Jones. Um, and the last time it did something similar was actually back in 1929. It dropped 10 out of t uh, 11 weeks, excuse me, in a row. And that was before the stock market crash and the start of the Great Depression. So we've beaten that record now, right? Um, I think actually this week we saw it come up. So the record is pretty much set now, 11 out of 12 weeks. I think we're now 11 out of 13. Um, but either way, we still beat the record that was set before the Great Depression, um, before the stock market crash. So are we going to see a stock market crash um, here this year, next year? It is possible. It's very possible. Are we going to go into a, a deep, uh, maybe a greater depression? Uh, because this will be an inflationary depression, right? Uh, with the price of everything going up. That is possible. So we'll have to see how this all pans out. But I do want to look at the price of silver because there's a few things that you may or may not be aware of, especially if you're new to precious metals. So let's start back in uh, 2000, I guess. Price of silver was around $5 an ounce. And, you know, everyone was talking about Y2K, you know, what's going to happen? Um, are the computers going to explode, right? Because it's a new millennium, all that stuff. Uh, I remember Y2K, um, I was kind of little, but, you know, I remember it happening, and I remember it was kind of like a big bunch of nothing, um, and the price of silver didn't move, right? It, in fact, it actually went down uh, to, like, the $4 range here in 2001. I wish I was buying silver back in 2001. Uh, you know, $4 an ounce, obviously, there were premiums, you know, so maybe you're paying 5 or $6 an ounce to actually get the silver, but um, I was mowing lawns back then, you know, raking leaves. I could have been putting my cash into silver. I certainly wish I did that instead of just buying, uh, you know, Slurpees down at the, at the gas station. But uh, anyway, uh, so we did see the price of silver down in the $4 range, and then it started working its way up. And in 2008, we hit over $20 an ounce, and everything was great, right? There was nothing wrong uh, with the economy. There was no bubbles. Nothing like that. Um, of course, I'm joking. Uh, there was the Great Recession, um, the housing bubble, etc. And we saw the price of silver actually come down uh, into the $9 range uh, by November of 2008. Now, what do you think the sentiment was when silver came down? I mean, it got cut in half. What were people thinking? Well, they're thinking, you know, why is silver not a better store of value, you know? What's going on here? I thought silver was supposed to be uh, this amazing, you know, hedge against inflation. It's wealth protection, but it just got cut in half when everything is going bad. 
Um, and this was kind of like a liquidity event, right? People needed cash, and so what do you do? You sell your gold, you sell your silver. And you know, back in 2008, there was no popular cryptocurrencies or anything like that. So if people needed cash, well, you sell your gold, sell your silver. Um, if you're a trader, you sell your paper gold, your paper, silver, etc. Um, and so you can make those margin calls. Um, but either way, you know, silver was under 10 bucks an ounce as far as the spot price goes. Of course, there was premiums. And I'm sure there was people back then saying, why do I have to pay $15 for an ounce of silver? You know, my premiums. This is crazy. You know, these American silver eagles are insane. Um, well, it got, it got a lot more insane. And we're going to get to that. So uh, from November 2008, uh, fast forward about two and a half years. We are in April of 2011, and see if we can stop it. There we go. Uh, $47 an ounce was sort of where silver peaked. Um, so almost $50 an ounce, really close to the level where it got back in the 80s with the Hunt brothers uh, running up the price of silver. So at this point in time, demand for silver was crazy. It was through the roof. You know, American Silver Eagles had really high premiums. I think they were going for like $70 an ounce um on ebay and stuff like that a lot of people were getting into precious metals in 2011 in fact you know demand was pretty much at its highest right here so everyone was flocking the gold and silver it was in the news um you saw all these uh, little shops popping up in the malls right it was like uh, we we will buy your gold we will buy your silver um it was crazy times and most people who were getting into precious metals at this point in time, they didn't know it yet, but they were destined to lose um, to lose some cash if they did cash out over the next few years. Because as we see, the price of silver, you know, comes down when people lose interest in it. And, um, you know, it went all the way down into the teens. Now, let's fast forward to where we are today. Um, so I'm actually going to, I'm going to do this, see if we can move the chart a little bit. So this is right before covid and all of that uh so we're february of 2020 you know things are moving along silver's kind of gone sideways for the last five years or so and we saw this dip in the spot price of silver uh, in fact i'm going to move this in a little bit more so we can see it better so uh we see this dip and this was the uh liquidity event um you know uh, cryptos went down precious metals went down and silver was around you know $12 an ounce of course we couldn't get silver for $12 an ounce I think the cheapest was like 15 or 16 bucks an ounce uh, to actually get the physical silver unless you're buying at private party then maybe you could get it cheaper but a lot of people were saying this event was similar to the event that happened back in 2008 when it went from 20 down to uh, you know $9 an ounce and uh, it was a very similar event in fact it moved down for very similar reasons uh, but then we saw silver rally right it went all the way up to uh 29 almost 30 dollars an ounce which was a big rally for silver however i feel like this rally that happened um this is not the end of the story because you know the whole covid event and and everything surrounding that was kind of just kicking off what was already destined to happen we were already in a stock market bubble things were already not good so this sort of uh, dip and run up that happened back in 2020, I feel like it's not the end of the story, nowhere close. So we have seen silver come down into the $20 range, but let's back up here again because I want to I want to make this point. I think that in fact we can go uh, we can go around here. I think that from this point in time, you know, $9 silver to almost $50 silver, which is you know about a, a 5x I think that type of uh, demand, that huge run-up, has not happened yet with silver. So I don't think we're there yet. I think we might see another dip. You know, if we do see kind of a, a stock market crash, then I think, you know, we probably will see silver initially go down. I'm not sure how low. Maybe it could go down to, I don't even know, $15 an ounce or something like that. But then I think over the, you know, next few years after that, we would see that huge rally up. So if silver rallied from where it's at today and we had another 5x in the price, you know, you'd be looking at over $100 silver. If it goes down to 15 and then rallies from there up 5x, you know, you're looking at $75 an ounce. But honestly, I feel like something like that is super possible. Um, I don't think we've had this huge run up. Now, history does not always repeat itself, right? But it can rhyme. And honestly, I think that if we do go into... Uh, sort of a 
depression, right? Especially if it's a deep depression, people will be flocking to precious metals. People want that safe haven. Uh, you know, they want that uh, place to store their wealth where they know even if inflation gets out of control, they're going to be okay. And gold and silver really are the best places to put your wealth when we are having crazy inflation. I mean, we could go into hyperinflation. doesn't matter because your wealth is denominated in ounces, not in dollars at that point. So if we do get there and the news is talking about gold and silver, you know, lots of retail investors are flocking to precious metals. We could see another huge rally like we saw back from 2008 to 2011, but I think the rally would be much bigger. And, um, you know, I, I don't think that $100 silver is uh, out of the question. I think it's very possible over this decade. You know, I, I'm not exactly sure when this is maybe going to happen, but um, I think the possibility is definitely there. So anyway, I would say with the price of silver now around $21, $22 an ounce, I feel like it's super cheap. I feel like it's uh, pretty much on sale and uh, I'm still buying as much silver as I can. Uh, if you want to watch my last video where I did a silver unboxing, uh, I think it was like 50 ounces of silver. Check it out. I'll put a link for that one down below in the description. Uh, I also talk about one of my biggest fears when it comes to investing in silver. So it's a great video. Uh, check it out. But also, I want to know your thoughts on where we are right now. Are we already in a recession? Are we going into a recession? What about a depression? Uh, especially an inflationary depression. Do you think we're headed that way? I think it be it could be um, pretty disastrous for our country. It could be obviously really bad for the dollar. You know, lots of people out of work, but prices going up. So it's kind of a recipe for uh, for disaster, right? But for precious metals, they kind of love chaos. So anyway, leave your comments down below in the comment section. I do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video. And I will see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons, out.